Hello friends, this is Arutkarsh Bhargav. In today's lecture, I'm going to teach you the concept of lump sum su subsidy versus the per unit price subsidy by using the indifference curve analysis. Let's get started. As you can see on the screen, I have already drawn a graph for you. By taking money income on the y-axis, I have taken the money income on the y-axis, units of good x on the x-axis. Now, we have a budget line MA and we have already achieved the equilibrium at point E1 where I am consuming OX1 units of good X, quantity of good X by spending only MF of my income. Now, let's take the case of price subsidy. Government has providing you the subsidy on the price of good X. Jaisi hi good X ke price par aapko subsidy milni start hogi, what you will observe ki jo aapki budget line hai, wo bahar ki taraf rotate kar jayegi. What? It will rotate outwards. Your M point will retain over there only, but you have a new budget line achieved, let's say MB. Now, as you have a new budget line, it's a very simple thing that you have a new indifference curve achieved. At this indifference curve, let's say that's the equilibrium point E2, where, where you are consuming this X2 quantity. Let's name this as the X2, X2 quantity, where you are spending mj mj quantity of your money income on the other hand agar aap ek baat ko notice kare agar aapko ye price subsidy na mili hoti to aapko apni purani income se kitna paisa spend karna padta that is m to k so m se lekar k tak aapko sara ka sara apna paisa spend karna padta to achieve that x2 level of quantity but you don't have to do that because of the government subsidy. In short, the government ki jo subsidy ki cost is how much? J se lekar K. Tak. So that will be known as the cost of subsidy. That is the cost of subsidy on good X, which the government has provided. So this was our case of price subsidy. Now let's extend आगे एक्सटेंड करते हैं कि गवर्नमेंट ने सपोज करो आपको प्रोवाइड करी लम सम सब्सिडी गाइस लम सम सब्सिडी से मेरा क्या मतलब है लम सम सब्सिडी का मतलब क्या होता है कि जब गवर्नमेंट आपको सारा का सारा पैसा एक ही बारी में दे दे और आप अपनी मर्जी से जिस पे चाहे जिस गुड पे चाहे जिस सर्विस पे चाहे आप उस पर वो वाला पैसा लगा सकते हो नाउ जब आपका बजट पूरा का पूरा इंक्रीज होगा बाय uh, because of the lump sum subsidy, so your budget line will rightward shift. I am shifting your budget line ko rightward shift kar raha by a dotted line. Just take a look. I have shifted budget line aapke shift your budget line. Now, budget line shift hui, uska naam maine diya M1, A1. So that's your new budget line. Now, of course, at new budget line, you will achieve a different IC, let's say IC3. Now IC3 is tangent with the new budget line M1, A1, let's say at point E3. So that's the new equilibrium point. Now at new equilibrium point, as you can see, that you can consume, uh, just a sec, O, L. Yes, you are spending ML of your money income to consume this quantity, let's say x2 dash, that is the quantity which you are going to consume at equilibrium E3. Now you have to prove this thing that this equilibrium E3 is much more efficient or the consumer is better off at this point as compared to any other equilibrium. How? Just take a look guys. Aapko itti baat samaj mein aani chahiye ki ye jo j se lekar k सबका एरिया था ये थी गवर्नमेंट की सब्सिडी की कॉस्ट और वही जो गवर्नमेंट ने M1 से लेकर M तक की जो आपकी मनी इनकम बढ़ाई है दीज टू एरियाज आर एब्सोल्युटली सेम सो दैट इज व्हाट इंक्रीज इन योर मनी इनकम सो इट सिंपली मींस दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज प्रोवाइडिंग और गवर्नमेंट इज स्पेंडिंग ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल अमाउंट ऑन गिविंग द प्राइस सब्सिडी एंड बाय गिविंग द मनी इनकम in short, the cost of the government is the But you have to the concept that you can prove that in the case of lump sum subsidy, the consumer is better off in the case of lump sum subsidy. How do we prove that? We will analyze that. 
कि जब गवर्नमेंट ने आपको आगे सब्सिडी प्रोवाइड करी स्पेशली द लमसम सब्सिडी इन दैट केस यू आर स्पेंडिंग ओनली यस यू आर स्पेंडिंग ओनली एम एल ऑफ यूर इनकम टू कंज्यूम दैट एक्स टू डैश क्वांटिटी एट विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी अचीव द इक्म ऑन दी अदर हैंड अगर आप पर यूनिट प्राइस सब्सिडी की बात करें तब आपकी कंजम्पन एक्स टू है वी आर स्पेंडिंग अ वेरी ह्यूज प्रपोर्शन ऑफ योर इनकम बट क्योंकि आपको जो नया इक्लेबरम ई थ्री है वो अचीव होता है एक हायर आईसी पे आपने अपने बेसिक्स में वाली बात पढ़ी होगी दैट एट हायर आईसी विल अचीव द हायर लेवल ऑफ सेटिस्फेक्शन दैट इज वाई ई थ्री विल बी द मोस्ट एफिशियंट इक्लेबरम पॉइंट बिकॉज एट दिस पॉइंट the consumer is achieving the higher level of satisfaction why because e3 is lying on the higher ic that is why lump sum subsidy is really very better than the per unit price subsidy fine so that was all about this topic thank you so much guys